Hey friends, welcome back to my grow room slash pantry. I want to give you an update on the seedlings. I've got a whole bunch more stuff going on here than I had last time you guys were here. I am going to actually, today, I'm going to go out and plant these peas and these onions. So I thought I'd give you a, like an overview of everything I got before I bring some of it out into the garden today. So first things first are the onions here that I planted. I did give them a little trim about a week and a half ago because they were getting too tall. And today is the day they are gonna go out in the garden, which I'm kind of glad because the soil has been kind of algae and there's some mold now on there and I kind of want to get it out of here. This was soil I purchased at Home Depot and I'm not super happy with it. I do think that I overwatered um, at the beginning of this and so that's part of my issue here. But also I think the soil is just not as good quality as this pro mix, which I will link below. If you watched my, my last seed starting video, I talked about this pro mix I bought and I'm so happy with, so happy with the quality. So I'll link that below. So I switched over to my kitchen island because the lighting in my grow room was bad. All right, so let's get to some exciting stuff. The tomato experiment, the seed saving tomato experiment. So I've got, um, they all sprouted a ton except for this German stripe was a dud. There's a little bit of mold growing on there and nothing happened here. And so, but what a few of you guys have told me is that my sun gold and my chocolate stripe are hybrids. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep growing these out because they um, aren't gonna grow true to type, but my mortgage lifter and my Romas are heirlooms, so I'm definitely excited about the germination on this. These need to be separated pretty soon. I'm gonna let them get two more true leaves on them and then I will separate these. And I'm glad these Romas did really well because the Romas I planted from Baker Creek here I only had one, two germinate out of this whole row and I planted two seeds in each one of these. So that was very poor germination on that. And then the rest of my tomatoes seem to um, germinate pretty well. I had them next to my wood, to my wood stove over there when they were germinating and that seemed to work really well. And then as soon as I saw one of them sprout, I threw them under the grow lights. So I am gonna water these today um, what I've been doing is Thirsty Thursday, so I remember to water them, and let me show you what I've been doing with that. I have this really fancy watering pot here, and this is the fertilizer I got. When I've been researching about feeding your seedlings, it was recommended to do a one-to-one-to-one, -to -one -to -one, so I can link this below. So far, I've been pretty happy with it. Um, it is, I've been putting, it says one pump per gallon of soil, so I put about a half a pump in here and then I fill up the bottom of the tray about I don't know quarter half an inch and then I let them drink that and so I think that by letting the soil dry out too on the top before I water them I am helping prevent some of that algae and mold growth and then on to some really exciting sweet potato updates this has been really interesting because I've got two, four, six sweet potatoes that I bought at Costco, organic sweet potatoes, and those three organic sweet potatoes I bought at Walmart. And it's just interesting seeing them in different conditions and what they're doing. These two sweet potatoes are by far the star winners. This one has four slips started, and this potato has one. And they're pretty big, and I'm excited about that. These two potatoes in the dirt haven't done anything. They are, there are roots when I pull up the bottom of the tray, I can see roots growing out of them, but I don't see any slips growing. And I don't see any slips with this potato or this potato. I do see on them roots, those little white bumps, those are roots starting to form, but there is no real root development yet and there's no um, sprouts on them yet. But these potatoes from Walmart, which I thought were pretty poor quality <laughs> potatoes, are starting to sprout. I've got a sprout here. On here, I've got a sprout that it kind of sprouted in the water. This potato was molding on the bottom, so I actually cut the moldy bit off, and it looks like it's healthier. It's kind of odd because this one has sprouted, um, but there's no real roots on it. I didn't cut the roots off when I cut the moldy end off, so that's just been kind of interesting. 
And then, um, oh, I just broke the toothpick. This one has some sprouts here, here, and here. So that's pretty exciting. So my peppers, the germination is still really bad. Um, I even, I did put a heat mat under them and I first had them over by my wood stove and then I moved them when um, these tomatoes sprouted. These are the Dollar Tree tomatoes and they all sprouted really well. When those sprouted, I needed to get them under the grow lights so they couldn't be by the wood stove anymore. So I did put a heat mat under them and the germination is just so poor. The best germination are the Dollar Tree California Wonder. I got almost all of those. That's probably, I'd say, like an 80% germination rate. Um, my MI Gardener California Wonders are okay. It's in these two rows. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six jalapenos out of 24 seeds I planted. So pretty poor there. That is a Baker Creek seed. That was a new seed this year that I bought too. And then um, this pepper, I only got two to germinate, and my Tabascos, yet again, no germination on the Tabascos, which I'm really disappointed about. I don't know if it's the seed or my technique, but I might be buying some more seed and trying to do that again. These peppers I planted on February 4th, and then these peppers I planted on January um, 17th, and they're looking really good. These cayenne peppers are definitely doing the best. I even have some new ones germinating, which is kind of funny. Um, and then I've got in here, I found one of these uh, jalapenos has another one that germinated in here. Uh, when I transferred these into this tray, I only made sure I had one pepper in each cell. And so those definitely um, were seeds that just didn't germinate and then popped up. This same tray, I've got my Brussels sprouts that are looking really good. I'm super excited about those. And I've got some spinach here. All right, so here we've got my brassicas and they are all doing really well. My um, Golden Acres cabbage is doing well, both the Dollar Tree and the uh, Baker Creek. I only had one Dollar Tree cabbage not germinate. My ca cauliflower is looking amazing and my broccoli is looking amazing. These are my celeries. They're growing really well. I need to up pot these soon. I've got my celery act here and then my Chinese pink celery. And then my kale is doing pretty good. I think it's ready to be up potted. This pot, this plant, this kale plant wasn't attacked by the chickens and I did up pot it a while ago and it seems to be a lot happier in its own tray so or its own container. So I'm gonna up pot these, I think this weekend and so that they have a little bit more room to grow. But I'm super excited about the kale. You wanna see what I'm gonna end up doing with this, with the produce, like cooking and preserving and stuff like that. I will have a bunch of videos on that as well. Then go ahead and subscribe and you can see all that. And thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you next time. Bye.